Thanks, Deirdre. I'm joined now by Tim Ellis, CEO of Relativity Space. Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. I want to start off with the big question that all space geeks are wondering about. You've raised so much money, $685 million, but you haven't yet had a launch. What is the update on your launch timing? Yeah, of course, Julia. So excited to be here. And as you mentioned, Relativity is 3D printing an entire rocket. So we've actually built not just our own launch vehicle to launch satellites to orbit, but also our own 3D printers, which are by far the largest in the world. Um, we're on track to actually launch that rocket at the end of this year from our launch site at Cape Canaveral, Florida. So we have two launch sites, one at Vandenberg Air Force Base, one at Cape Canaveral. We're only the fourth company to ever get a launch site with the Air Force at the Cape. And we're, we're building rockets in a completely different way than it's been done before. Really, it's been true for the last 60 years that every aerospace factory you walk into today is building rockets one at a time by hand on a bunch of fixed tooling and capex with hundreds of thousands to millions of individual parts all assembled manually. And so we really see 3D printing as an automation technology that replaces that tech stack and actually uh, builds rockets much more quickly via software and, and data-driven technologies, which is what we're pioneering. The 3D printing technology is certainly disruptive, revolutionary in terms of the way you're creating the rockets. But talk to me about the competitive landscape for the rockets themselves. One of your rockets will be competing directly with SpaceX. Why take on the leader in this space that has such a head start? Yeah, of course. So, I mean, I think actually it goes to what inspired me to start Relativity. So I was building my career at Blue Origin, where I was a rocket propulsion engineer and founded the metal 3D printing division there, working with Jeff and, and the rest of the team. And then a lot of our team has worked in private space, both at SpaceX and other leading private space companies. So in our 400 person team, we've actually launched over 10,000 rockets among all of our team uh, in the past couple decades. And so what we're really doing is I, I was inspired by SpaceX landing rockets and docking with the space station five years ago and I founded Relativity. But despite all of that amazing and inspiring success, all of their animations right when they got to Mars and, and people walked out faded to black. And so for us, it was about Relativity building the second company that wants to go to Mars. So it was our long-term mission from the point I founded it five years ago that we want to actually build humanity's industrial base on Mars. And we see 3D printing as the inevitable technology necessary to build that industrial base. So at some point in humanity's future, so someone had to build this company to, to actually 3D print on Mars. And so we're actually joining SpaceX and making that happen. So you've talked about 3D printing on Mars, but I want to ask you about that technology itself. Are there other ways to monetize or license your 3D printing technology beyond building the rocket ships and then also this longer term plan of building infrastructure on Mars? Yeah, of course. So we're, we're starting with rockets. We're actually the most pre-sold rocket company in history before launch. We have sold more Terran 1s uh, before ever flying than, than any company in, in history. So that's a really big kind of, kind of customer adoption, both with the DOD and NASA, as well as commercial companies as anchor customers. So that's why we're starting with launch. We're also now building a rocket that's more than 20 times larger than our first one that's fully reusable. But at the, the heart of it, uh, like you mentioned, we really see 3D printing as a whole new tech stack for aerospace that is software and data driven and, and can iterate very, very quickly. And so much like you've seen with gas internal combustion engines to electric or on-premise servers to cloud, Relativity's pioneering 3D printing is a new tech stack that, that I believe will be the most disruptive technology in our lifetime for aerospace. So this is really more than just building and designing on rockets in a full stack uh, manner that we're doing today, but it really is about actually uh, pioneering what, what I think is going to be the future of our society in the next 100 years um, with aerospace and 3D printing as, as really a software driven method to do it. And just one example is we're actually building a yeah. rocket from raw material to complete mm -hmm. in 60 days from scratch compared to mm -hmm. two years that it takes um, traditionally. Uh, uh